Welcome to this video on Excellence in Shooting presented to you by Guns and Gear. The course is structured in three lessons, handgun safety, parts and operation, ammunition and fundamentals of shooting, and range operation. Let's begin with lesson one, introduction to pistol safety, pistol components, and operation. There are four things I'd like you to take away from lesson one. The first, rules of safe gun handling. Number two, handgun knowledge, skills, and safety. Number three, major pistol components. And number four, safe loading and unloading procedures. Rules of safe gun handling. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use. And then the fourth rule, always treat a firearm as though it's loaded. Remember, ignorance and carelessness will cause you trouble. There are three major pistol components, the barrel, the frame, and the action. The barrel is a metal tube through which the bullet passes on the way to the target. The frame is the backbone of the pistol to which the other parts are attached. And the action is a group of moving parts used to load, fire, and unload the pistol. This is very basic, but just so that you become familiar before class, begin to get to know the various components of the firearm, such as the rear sight, the front sight, slide, slide stop, trigger, and of course trigger guard, grip, magazine and magazine release, the back strap, safeties, and the hammer. Now for some additional detail on the barrel. Typical one shown here, the chamber on the left hand side is where the full up cartridge goes into. The bore is a cross section measurement across the barrel which defines the caliber of the gun such as a 9mm or a 45 caliber. The muzzle, the right hand side where the bullet exits once fired and the spiral inside the barrel is the rifling which puts a spin on the bullet so it stays on a straight path. The cartridge is built on four different components. The casing, the primer, the gunpowder, and the bullet. We oftentimes call it a bullet, but its proper name is a cartridge. Now I'd like to get into three basic operational procedures. Loading, cocking, and unloading of the firearm. Loading the magazine is fairly straightforward. Place the back of the magazine into the palm of the left hand, and keep your left thumb up high for leverage. Use your right hand between the right thumb and the index finger to place the round or cartridge into the proper location in the magazine. Next we pick up the firearm, pointing it in a safe direction with our finger off the trigger. Our three fingers are stacked all the way up to the trigger guard and we keep the gun level onto the target. Next we load the magazine into the firearm until it's in its locked position. We let the slide go forward by grabbing the back of the slide and allowing it to move and capture the round to load the chamber. You use the safety if you're not quite ready to shoot and remember there's a good chance on a firearm that it's ready to shoot as soon as the slide goes forward. Unloading the firearm starts with the release and the removal of the magazine. Draw back the slide and lock it open to ensure that you're ejecting any round that may still be chambered. Visually inspect the chamber to make sure it's clear, and remember the unloading order is important. The magazine must come out first. Let's get familiar with the various triggers that you can possibly find on a semi-automatic pistol. There is a single action, which is a trigger that performs one single action. It simply fires the gun. Then there's the double action, and in this case, the trigger performs two actions cocks the gun on the first part of the travel and fires it on the second part. Then there's something called a single double with a decocker. That allows the trigger to fire the gun in either single action or a, fires it into a double action mode when the decocker is used. That's the end for lesson one so let's recap. Our goal was to get you familiar with the firearm, its parts, and its operation. Then the three safety rules for safe gun handling Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction, 
finger off the trigger and unload it until you're ready to use. Then three parts, major parts within the firearm, it's the barrel and then the frame and then the action. And then trigger types, there's a single, double, and a single double. Let's begin with lesson two, introduction to ammunition and the fundamentals of shooting. Here's what we would like you to retain from lesson two. Basic ammunition types, three major types of cartridge malfunctions and how to deal with them. How to determine your dominant eye and then the six fundamentals of shooting a pistol. There are three basic types of ammunition, the ball, the hollow point, and the wad. The ball is the target round that we're used to using. Hollow point is more of a defensive round. And the wad is an inexpensive round that has a lead bullet and cuts cleanly through targets for scoring. Below that we have an example of typical calibers for semi-automatic pistols. Now here's some important information that you'll want to retain on things that can go wrong with ammunition classified as misfire, hang fires, and squibs. The one action that the NRA and other manufacturers of, fire, of firearms recommends is that you do take some time to determine what you have. A misfire simply never goes off, but it's dangerous because it, while you're thinking that, it may become in a few seconds a hang fire, which means it does go off after a delay. And finally, the squib. The squib is an underpowered round that does fire, but there's a tendency to leave the bullet in the barrel, so you need to make sure your barrel is cleared before you go ahead and load up another round. Knowing your dominant eye. Each individual has a dominant eye, which is the one that's used to aim the pistol. It's a natural, uh, shortest line of sight to the target setup, and again, it becomes very natural for you as you look. The dominant eye stays with the front sight as you fire the gun. Let's discuss the fundamentals of shooting. There's six steps in the skills. The body position, the grip and technique, sight alignment, breathing control, trigger control, and follow through. We will use the isosceles body position as we shoot. Place your feet shoulder width apart, squared to the target. Your arms are going to be extended and locked and bringing your arms and the firearm up to your eye level. It's an athletic position with the body weight shifted forward to manage the gun recoil. It's similar in many respects to a stance for baseball and or sports like tennis. Let's begin the discussion about grip. With your strong hand, you're going to wrap your hand with three fingers under the trigger guard and one finger off onto the frame away from the trigger. This hand controls your safety, your trigger, your hammer, and your magazine operations. With the weak hand, your thumbs don't cross. It comes underneath, and what I want you to do is put four fingers all the way up to the trigger guard as you wrap that hand around. It's going to control muzzle flip, manages the slide, and the magazine. Sight alignment and aim control are very important to your shooting. Align the front and rear sights such that the top of the front and the top of the rear are all in the same line and that that line crosses the center of the target. The front sight should be centered in the valley of the rear sight so that you're controlling your view left to right and are centered right on the center of the target. Your eye needs to stay with the front sight the entire time that you're shooting to make these stay in place. Breath control is simple but important. Take a deep breath, exhale halfway, fire and complete the exhale. If you're waiting too long you might want to reset and take a breath all over again. Trigger control is probably the most important skill you can develop. Make sure you properly align your grip so that your knuckle is not positioned too far forward, which is going to push the gun as you shoot. You want it pulled back a little bit so that as you squeeze, it's a direct squeeze back. Lay your fingerprint on the trigger and use that as your landing point for the trigger squeeze. Always maintain your sights until the shot goes off. Follow through is a fairly uh, simple concept. The idea is to get your finger back off the trigger, put yourself in a safe position, uh, perhaps to a high ready position or a low ready position, and begin thinking about going through your process all over again as you take your next shot.
This is the end of lesson two, so let's recap. Ammunition, the three kinds of ammunition, the ball, the wad, and the uh, defensive round or the hollow point. Major cartridge malfunctions, squib, misfire, hang fire, six fundamentals, your shooting position, your grip, your sight alignment, your breathing, your trigger squeeze, and your follow through. And which two are the most important? Sight alignment and trigger control. Lesson three, let's get you comfortable with the range operation. In lesson three, the information that you want to retain are the rules for the range and the range commands. On the range, you follow procedures for your entrance and exit paths. You'll wear hearing and eye protection at all times. All gun handling will be done in the shooting booth and with the gun pointed in the downrange direction at all times. Don't set down a loaded firearm. You need to clear it first. Know what's beyond your target. It's very, very important you own the bullet until it lands. Follow range officer's instructions and then sweep up the brass and remove any targets when you're done. Commands. Cease fire. Stop shooting immediately and await further instructions from the range officer. Anybody may call a ceasefire, so if you see an emergency, don't hesitate to call it. Range is cold, and bench the gun means to unload your gun and place it on the bench with the slide back and the ejection port up so it's visible to the range officer. The range is hot. When this command is given, you may fire at your target when you are ready. And load means for semi-automatics, place the loaded magazine into the gun and close the slide. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for taking the time to go through this. You're going to find that when we get together at the range that some of these concepts are really going to help in your shooting. Thanks once more.